Hello everybody, welcome to my channel and this will be my reading for the full moon which is going to be happening on the 8th of December in Gemini at 3.08pm my time in Sydney, Australia. So I thought first week of December let's get in the festive spirit um, as we've got a few weeks away until Christmas. So what we've got coming up this week, so sort of in the beginnings um, of the week before the full moon we do have um, venus and mercury which is going to oppose mars in so venus and mercury um mercury will be coming into uh, gemini or actually capricorn and we'll have the venus still coming over also this week into capricorn too but they're going to both planets are going to start opposing mars um, which is happening starting for like today really um, on the which is today's the second Friday the second of December so what this is going to be Mars is going in retrograde still so it's not it's at full speed it's retrograde when planets go in retrograde they're not working properly so we can be get, get more some more frustrated or, or may you know, haywire um, you should say it's a strength as well but because it's going in retrograde um it's going to be more i feel like there's going to be some sort of tug of war energies coming on here you might feel like your communication um is not you can't get at what you mean to say or is this frustration like a tug of war happening also could be you be thinking of something that um that's frustrating you or maybe something something that someone said and you can't stop thinking about it or it's going over your head um it's causing like frustrations with things so it's like a, but i feel like it's going to be like a tug of war energy and then with Venus, we are it's is going to affect finances or money as well as relationships too. And even because Mars is in Gemini, it is about our um, networks. It is about our social scene. It's also you could be more frustrated for young people because Gemini's rule it's they're a youthful sign. Um, so it's, it could be to also to do with education and schools as well because that's where Gemini also rules. So we've also got um, Mercury, which is going to square uh, Jupiter. So Jupiter at the end part of Pisces, squaring um, the Mercury. So this here, when, when planets start squaring, they sort of work opposite against each other. So Jupiter will be abundance and luck. So, you know, there could be an aspect of this where it could be, you know, communication and things sort of feel better, you feel more confident, but also... It could be that it works against you so working against which means it's not as abundant it's not as luck um i just get a lot of frustrations or tensions coming up this week we're gearing up to the end of the year we're gearing up to this full moon plus we're gearing up to what's going to be ha coming up next year and this full moon that's going to come about on the 8th is that it's actually going to conjunct that mars in retrograde so this can you know it can feel a bit overwhelming this it's a big full moon that's coming up ahead um it could it could activate more war stuff that's going on around the world um it could be like over with these aspects with mars with venus and uh, mercury it can be like um your mind overactive not getting enough sleep i said your mind just might race over with things that are frustrating you or someone said something um even myself i've noticed something that happened to me the other week and where someone sort of indirectly got like a mental mind to sort of indirectly attack me without even knowing it and it's been playing my mind because I can't it's like I can't let it go so you might find these things happening where you just can't let something go and um and you're like really it's been playing on you so these things can happen up this week or it could have been already been started started it started for me this week and it's, it's it's like kind of like playing a game or there's like a chess piece that's happening up this week like it, it's like people are sort of moving around a checkerboard but i feel like it's a game of chess um in our own lives but also in the global um situation that we're that we're in we've got mars which is in the last quadrant of aquarius which is really ramping up as we saw the all those lockdowns happen in china and people were rebelling because we've got the saturn in aquarius which is all about you know, problems with our freedoms, um, problems with liberties, and it's also a problem with technology. So it's it's funny that it was actually over the iPhone factory to be technology, which Aquarius rules and Saturn's in there. 
So Saturn is trying to, I guess, put restrictions, but also create a rebellion as well in these last quadrants where things aren't really going to, to plan. Um, and we've got this Mars in the last part of Capricorn getting ready to make its move into Aquarius, which I'll talk more about that in my 23 video, which I'm going to prepare next week while I'm away. Um, so it's, it's a very, and also with this full moon, it's also a square to Neptune. What I feel like this is going to be an intense week. I feel like we're in a week of shocks and surprises. It's a very dramatic week could be coming ahead with these energies. I feel like emotionally intense can come about. People being trapped emotionally, people not understanding each other, lack of respect, pushing boundaries, people trying to overcompensate for someone. This is where we're getting into the square with Neptune. I'm always trying to bend backwards, but also it could be an aspect of manipulating coming up here at play, even like emotionally, where someone's trying to maybe even push your buttons. Um, people, it's big, it's like prepared, I was getting being prepared for chaos. People not working in harmony with, with together. I got here could also be frustration in the home because it's because the moon is also it's our emotions, but it's also our home, represents our home in astrology. So there could be some frustrations coming up around the, the home. People really feeling the pressure on things. People feeling tested. People fighting over um, over like claims of what's theirs. Being more invert, like being inverted, so going more inward than being more outward. Um, feeling stuck and not going anywhere. It's like people might not feel like they have no clear direction with these aspects that are going on. So I just I do feel like this is it's an intense um, in, it's been an intense couple of years and I feel like it's not really not really slowing down. I just feel like it's like I feel like when we go to China, there's what's what's happening there could be a big cover up that's happening over there um, where people are trying to make everything all smiley and fine, but there's there's underneath there's things happening underneath. But even around the world, it's like. There's strange things happening around the world. It, the world is becoming a very weird and strange place. So we're, we're here for this reason at this time to experience these things. So it's like about drawing, I guess, have the popcorn out. Um, I feel like things in America are going to start drumming up this week. And I feel like there's going to be some big announcements, but I don't feel like the announcements are going to be positive. And it's like a blanket, trying to blanket again, or trying to cover up things. Um, because with, with these Venus here, we are looking at financial aspects. The governments are trying to really cover up what's really happening. And it is to do, it is all connected. And I feel like their real plans, um, you know, could be revealed next year of what they are actually trying to do. Let's have a look at some cards. Okay. coming out for the week ahead. I feel like uh, overwhelmed, like trappedness, people are feeling quite trapped. Um, also like feeling like a bit remorse. I don't know if this is this for this week or this is something I saw this last night. I was, could see like some bit like tsunami happening somewhere, it could be around Japan, but some tsunami potentially happening or the, like the earth trembling, the earthquake triggering a tsunami somewhere. Um, I feel like the volcano that's just erupted could like also intensify. We're, it's uh, it's like doom and gloom, but we're okay. That's what I feel. Hmm. Okay. Well. Okay. So we've got here. I do feel like there could be a Cupid's arrow. So it could be something about going on dates, going out relationships but it also could be maybe even the wrong people that you're wanting to you know to like you it may be people who you're not wanting to attract it could be the complete opposite coming up here i feel like because i feel like i got he loves in the air there's the song that's um it's one by an australian artist it's an old old song but it's it's like it's not i was feeling like it's not who you actually want um to to come in or to to like you which can be very frustrating. 
but there's also a lot of in the cards there's a lot of fighting coming out here in the cards and and it's basically it's confirming everything that i've just talked about um i kind of feel governments are going to crumble like it, it's time for a new start or like it's time for a new new beginning um where even banks may even um trying to like hold on to money but it could be like a big there could be a big collapse happening especially for people looking to buy houses i feel like the housing market is the boom sort of is over okay what have we got i said i've got a lot of a lot of cards here that indicate fighting or war energy is coming up or war intensifying heating up um, plus there's something about negotiations here or contracts to be signed um, a feeling of being like trapped but also a feeling of no direction like where am I going where am I heading there's no clear direction of where and it's almost like this week I feel like it would be a good week to have a, some sort of like time out and just get a, away from the world in what's going on um, maybe it was a good idea that I planned my trip when I did um, but it's 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 very chaotic too there is a, a it can, could be that we date you go on someone new and you find it particularly boring where you're not it's not someone who you overly are excited about but you thought you'd go out and it's really not you expect there also could be some sort of study thing about studying um, or looking up things researching but I feel like I'm researching things on financial gain or financial aspects as well as like like novels like what read like reading novels but there also could be people walking away so it could be some sort of endings but it's like trigger happy or you being um, triggered but money being hidden so it's gonna be a time maybe to try and save up I feel like something about financial um, we could even be doing the stocks um, coming up here um, and I just feel like with the corporations it's like a big game it's a big game that's being played here um, too there could be more snow like more cold could be colder over in the other side of the world where your winter is like blizzards coming up i feel like things are going to be really going to intensify for some of you it could be like some announcement some big announcement um that's going to be made this week and as i said i feel like i'm going to america with that or even england but there's some sort of big announcement the announcement i feel like it's not one it's it's like a blanket like a slap in the face but a blanket effect like i feel like people are trying to cover up something or there's just something that's not that's like not going right here um i know one of my predictions i didn't get right was with the melbourne so in sydney the no, sydney melbourne the election i'm so sorry melbanians i thought he was gonna get pushed out but i feel like there is something not right with governments not just in here in australia around the world there's something behind the scenes working here there's something that doesn't feel right to me even in the federal election something just doesn't feel right the way things are being pushed or the way things that are going um we, we might be we might get to see more about it once next next year but i'm going to look at it we look at things we're going to do see though for that that Dan andrews is i do see target on his back so i do feel like that there is he needs to sort of watch what he's doing or watch where he's i just feel like he needs to check his back there's a target on his back um because where we are now we are going in these last aspects saturn gets stronger as it goes towards the end of the sign so his last time of aquarius can roll and aquarians are rebellions so you've got saturn here so this can bring up a big rebellion here so governments i guess really need to be careful because they stir the pot too much people will rebel especially in these last quadrants these last months um saturn will be coming out of aquarius in march so things around the world might intensify especially if the governments don't um i guess do but i feel like i just see a blanket over things we're trying to put a blanket over things and where we are and it's like trying to spy other people too with this it's very dramatic that i'm feeling um and and also a bit of like overwhelmed as, as well so but there's a lot of like fighting um i'll do a, a channel too um see where we get for a channel but i feel like the main thing is about with people is to, to not give up 
and as long as you're around people who will support you and love you, I feel like no matter what is going to happen or affect you, you've got that support, you've got that safety net around you. And these are very important times to have people that will support you with through your thick and thin at this time. Let me just see um, if I can get a channel about this week and the full moon that's coming up ahead. Is it, it's going to be an intense full moon and the blanket could be the, with the Neptune because the Neptune could create a bit of a delusion with this. It can take something away. There could be a dissolve. So I always see Neptune as taking away or some sort of dissolve. So and we've heard so many people, um, you know, p passing. So this could be more, more people going away, walking away through um, different different aspects. But I feel like the important thing is, is just not to not give up with things and keep pushing through. Okay, let's do a channel. Um, you all feel scared and overwhelmed for what's going to happen next. The world that you know has definitely changed from 2020 and even from 2019, where the world that you were in were much different than you are now. People are in fear. People are scared. People are worried that lockdowns will appear, that food shortages are going to come about, and is what is going to happen to our everyday way of living and even our friends and the way of life. For these are all meant to change. The world is in a big change and a big galactic galactic entity which is blanketing over the world it is not fear that is driven it is people being in chaos and people not following their own heart and their own inspiration why are they just silly blinded following by what other people do and do not want to be different you're in a time where we're coming into age of aquarius where it is good to be different and good to be unique this is the way that you're going to see through the light when you live your own path and your own life through what is right for you and is not what everyone else does this is where the enlightenment hits for what you are told is going to be the new way of living may not be able the way you want to live keep your traditions keep the way you want to live it's good to be unique and it's good to think differently for this is how you are created you're not created to follow each other to all just do what one other one does you're all here for different and to create unique experiences for yourself good and bad embrace both for you embrace both you'll embrace a challenge and the challenge of life that comes up we bid you good day and farewell and we wish you all the best for the coming upcoming new full moon that is going to be hitting in gemini and overtaking mars this is going to impact you all like you've never seen before financial markets will fall there's going to be cracks in the system housing market will, everything will fall just be careful what you do with your money be careful where you place it and but just remember as well you all chose to be here at this reason and some of you will choose to exit while others will remain here for your path is not finished yet and you have a long way to go but you're all part of the new beginning that is going to awaken everyone in 2023 and even 2024 for these years may be hard for you but by the end of it, at least you have accomplished something. And at least you have been there to experience it. So while the media or people rewrite history, you have lived it. So you can tell your grandchildren and your children what actually happened. And do not let them forget what happened. Do not let people overtake or write all the, wrong, the wrong history that has been. We bid you farewell and wish you all the best. And we'll see you again. Oh, that was a long one. Okay. Um... Okay, that was a long one. Okay, let's do some, I'll do the four cards and then um, we'll go from there. Okay, and I do, I can do this deck today. So. Okay. So we got here um, card number one, which is this card here. Oh, there's an aspect of wanting to be free with this card. Free by card working, but you need structure, you need routine. There could be someone around you that is a Capricorn or you're a Capricorn yourself or someone you just need structure, you need routine, you need to set boundaries this week. Um, while it is good to break, you can break some rules if no one's watching and be flexible, but it's a week of 
intense, I feel like, structure. You're not, and it's almost like you're hesitant, like everyone around you seems to be more, more free, but you're hesitant to sort of go out and to, I guess, live the world because you're still sort of bird stuck in the birdcage. It is a, a week for you about trusting and I guess trusting the, the process of what's coming up. There is a sense of being enlightenment and receiving more downloads of spirit this week for you or receiving more signs and embracing, try to embrace changes as best as you can this week, even though I feel like you may resist change. Um, could be also be a week about helping others and helping people around you as well with this card. Card number two, which is this card here. Um, this could be a week for like maybe going into nature, going to the beach, having a bit of a break. It is um, a lot of change happening around you. I feel like spirit's going to be even more around you this week, talking to you and, and giving in, in, um, giving a lot of signs. But I feel like embracing your spirituality, but embracing who, embracing who you are. Um, it's also like going back to maybe memories of childhood or, or dealing with children. You may have to look after children this week. There's an aspect of children or young people. It's also this week remembering that every cloud has a silver lining to try and stay positive. Um, it could be quite grim or it could be like a bit of storm activity happening this week for you, wherever you are around the world. That's like I want to be near the ocean this week. I want to be near the ocean or near the water. Um, and like I'm thinking about the past or thinking about what once was and what could be. Like I'm daydreaming a bit. And we've got Neptune moving forward, so it has been a bit daydreamy too. I found that as well this week. Okay, card number three, this card here. With this card here, it's like you're tiptoeing around something or someone. You're you're trying to be, you're very capable, you're very trying to be very positive this week. You're embracing the change that's around you, even though around you could be a bit dull or a bit dry, but you're trying to just embrace the happy times. You are really showing off your power this week. Um, there could be someone that's trying to manipulate you, I feel. And it's about not hesitating and, and being brave and optimistic too. But it's I feel like it is a week of trying to make the best out of every situation and, and having fun. Um, there is it could be an aspect of going out, meeting someone new, but it could be not in the way that you think. And we got here card number four, which is this card here. I feel like this card, it's like you're ready for change. You're ready to embrace anything that's coming in your way. You're looking at challenges and you're facing them head on. You're here for having fun and, and trying to create some sort of joy, but also bringing in passion, like passionate things in, like and also creativeness, trying to get back into nature. Um, but you're embracing the, who you are and the difference that you are. You're being quite capable, but there's a bit of clashing or a bit of emotion coming up here for you too. Um, but you're very, you're very brave. You know, I just feel like you're opening to whatever's the, whatever life's going to come in your way. You're very open to that with this card, and it's like very inspirational with this card. Maybe you're going to be very inspirational this week. Okay, um, so. Um, Thank you. So we're getting ready for that Christmas period. Let's hope that Christmas is going to be okay this year. Um, so I am going to go next week away, which I'll be doing. I've written the horoscopes for December. I'm putting up today. Um, and I'm going to do the you know, horoscopes for January next week, as well as start looking at my videos, um, answering your questions in the other videos that you've put up, and to create my video for 2023 while I'm away um, as well. And I'll still create this content weekly video too, but I'm way too. So I hope you have all a fantastic week, and I hope that um, you all are kind to yourselves. Do something nice for yourself, or buy something, buy your own Christmas present if you treat yourself for something. I feel like it's very important to try and keep some sort of positive for yourself, um, especially coming up this time of year. And I hope you. Um, have had a good break or hope you're getting ready gearing up for the end of the year is quite good I was going to say Merry Christmas but we're not at Christmas yet so but I thank you for liking sharing in your comments and I will see you for my next video so bye for now